G'day, g'day. Welcome to Easy Jeezy Map and Made Breezy. Now, I've got to be really quick because I've got to go out for a walk. I'm, I'm due to see some trees and I need to be there soon. So, um, can't take too long, but this is a quick guide on making uh, interpolated uh, data maps, okay? Or using interpolation for to present your data in ArcGIS Pro. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, we're going to continue using the data from uh, previous guides, okay, our worker sample points. Um, and what we're going to do here, we need to go through a, a slightly different routine from the point maps we saw in previous guides. So first of all, let's click on the analysis tab and let's click on tools. Now this has, there's a huge amount of tools available here. Let's click on tools. Okay, uh, and again, it goes, it's going to appear as geoprocessing in one of the tabs on the right. Now, the one we want to look for in this case is called uh, Natural Neighbor. And if you type in neighbor at the top, you can see you've got a few natural neighbors. We want the spatial analyst tool version, not the 3D one. Okay, so there's that one there, interpolates a raster surface from points using a natural neighbor technique. And you can look up the natural neighbor technique to include in your methods. Um, if you wanted to find a traditional way, uh, you go to toolboxes and then you'd go down to spatial analyst tools and then interpolation. You can see there's a few different types. We want natural neighbor, so let's click on that. Okay, first of all, a few options. Uh, first, input, input point features, drop down. And in this case, we've only got one layer here, so it's going to be that layer. Click there. Okay. Now the Z value field is uh, the field that you want to use. So in this case, we've been using max noise level. Let's have a go at that. Okay, click on that. You've got your output raster. Okay, so you uh, you can choose where you save it. By default, it'll save it with uh, with the rest of the project. But for example, you can click here and, and save it uh, somewhere else, maybe as let's say noise level. Okay. Um, and then you've got the cell size, which is basically how, how sort of sharp it is. And the lower number, the, the sharper it is, the better the resolution. Uh, so I like to sort of put this around, let's say, uh, let's do 0 0.1 in this case. Uh, and then we can just click Run. Can take a little bit of time, depending on your, on your computer. Uh, but in other cases, it, depending on the actual data as well, it can be, uh, be very quick. What it's going to do, it's going to estimate uh, the values between points. So it's basically going to fill in the gaps, okay, using this natural neighbor calculation, okay. So if you've got a point over here that's, uh, uh, let's say, uh, 50 decibels, and the one next to it is 60, that area in between might be uh, 55, for example. Okay, so you can see it's now done. Okay, um, close that down. Uh, so you can see what it, it's assigned uh, the default sort of color scheme there and it's sort of as i said before it's filled in the gaps between all these points okay with values values that didn't exist before okay and over on the left you can see we've got our noise level layer now and you've got these values here now first thing let's go change this uh this color scheme so again we right click on it and we can go to symbology okay um and you've got different methods, et cetera, here, but uh, let's just stick with the defaults for now. Say class is 10, because that's what we've been doing recently. Um, now, our color scheme, I don't usually like this default one so much. You go down, you can choose a variety like before. Okay, in this case, it's green, yellow to red, which is a pretty common one that people, most people understand. Green, in this case, being lower noise. Uh, yellow medium and then going to orange and red for the for the highest uh, values okay um, so you've got it over here it looks pretty good at the moment um, what we can also do uh, we can go up here in these little advanced symbology options and for our labels we can, we can reduce those decimal places it's a little drop down we've got numeric so the numeric values and for decimal places let's drop that down to one Okay, and I'll update it there so it just looks a bit cleaner, especially when we're making our legend. Okay, um, you can uh, you can play around like the usual. You can reverse the order. You can choose your own colors. You can do all that sort of stuff here, just as you could before. Okay, but let's imagine that we're finished there. Um, 
So there we go. We have our interpolated map. Now, as I was saying, what it's doing is basically filling the gaps and sort of estimating the values that make up the areas where there wasn't actually a sample taken. Okay. Um, so these are these these values are not actually they were never measured in in this region, for example, here. But it's just assuming that because that region was a certain score, that point, sorry, and this point was another certain score, and this another point was a certain score, then that region is going to be this particular score. Okay, that region right there. So it's said there, it's, oh, it's thirty four. Okay, this part here. Let's see what the point is. Okay, this part here. Uh, what's well, got the noise? We can go find it down there. Or is it 69 there? Okay. If you click just over there, it's given us 69 as well. Uh, just over here, it said 35. And it, so it's basically using this calculation to sort of fill in the gaps. The last thing you, you might like to do with this is if you want to, particularly if you want to see the streets beneath to help with the sort of the context, um, you can click on, if you click on noise level, click on the appearance tab. And you've got the transparency up here, the transparency slider currently set to zero, so it's completely opaque. You can sort of adjust that. You don't want to go too far because then you lose all the colors, but maybe around the sort of 40 mark or so. So that way you can still see the colors. You can still see which areas are loud or quiet, um, but you can also see the streets behind. Um, you may also want to untake, take off the points as well to make it look even cleaner. But at the same time, maybe you want to leave the points in to show where the measurements were taken. Okay, hope this helps. I'll see you next time. Ciao.